my discus after I changed more than 90% of water with tap water, London tap water. Everybody saying this water is very bad for fish. No, it's not true. I used to breed angels and discus in London tap water with no addition, no arrow, nothing. Healthy fish, very happy. As I told you, I'm doing this every other day. I just fed them before I started to do the water change. You can see some beef are left on the glass. They're hungry again. So, should I give them a treat? Come on, guys. Don't be shy. They're always hungry. Put some teffy, some lankers, some giant floras, a couple of red pigeons, about 20 discos in about 700 liters, plus some tetras just for fun, a couple of Loacata loads to keep the nice population down. I've got some black paradise fish because I'm feeding them with blood ones, frozen blood ones. You never know what kind of bugs you can find in it, so the paradise fish eats them just in case. I've got some fresh shoulder manaka pool. They're very young, about seven months old. Tiger red. Started some colors on their backs. You can see on this one. I think this angel will be huge in about six, seven months. Now on. So yeah. And everything I'm doing, I'm using tap water. No arrow at all. I never use arrow. Never in my life. And I'm breeding fish for 40 years now. I'm using some rainwater for some very complicated species, but not arrow water. Rainwater with tap water mixed, yeah, it's all right. Let me show you something in my fish room here. I've got some wild red shoulder severns, and they've got eggs. This is tap water, it's not arrow water. So, no problems at all. I'm waiting some babies from this area tea. This is this tap water as well. I've got a couple of pairs here. They'll spawn very soon. Down here I've got long fin and sisters, which they're breeding like hell in tap water. I've got loads of babies from them. So from tap water. Again here some babies, the sisters and some tap water. I've got some long thin chloris here. I just cleaned this fish tank today and I fill it up with tap water. So they are breeding in tap water. I'm breeding Pecotia Comta L134 leopard fourplex in tap water as well. I've got quite a few in those case. Got here a nice male which I'm hoping he will spawn in a couple of days again.
nice and sisters L184 so yeah everything is top water everything top water and I got here some babies for L before they call Yaconta yeah. and not many about six I think because the bastard is the it is is the last last time I hate him for that so yeah fresh all the severance babies baby spawned and raised in top water no problems at all you can see on my YouTube channel a couple of years ago I had some pairs of discos with lots of babies on in tap water as well. No addition, not even rainwater, nothing at all, only tap water.